Yeah. 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 Yeah.
especially as we move through the age of climate change and the massive environment is our environmental disasters we face in Southeast Asia, musical intelligence, artistic, visual intelligence that are important to life. So a more holistic education. So aside from just improving the existing, ensuring that most uh, all the people get educated, improving teachers, we also would want to improve the actual substance of education. And then on a more structural basis, I would like to lessen the control of the state on education. I do not want the state to determine the education of this country. The, the, the best the state can provide is resources and a kind of regulatory framework, but not to actually dictate the substance of education. Because education is properly in the culture life, and I don't want this political life to predetermine how culture should evolve. For example, if the state is biasing education towards Filipinos being attacked with the economic machine, it's an actual disservice to the human dignity of a person. Because it's very important for people not only to have jobs, but have to have meaningful, fulfilled lives. For example, like in Japan. Japan is the second wealthiest country in the world, but there are 100 suicides every day or over 36,000 suicides a year because the educational system does not educate for existential intelligence. The Japanese young people don't know what they are here for, what their priorities are. They cannot see their future in what the previous generation has done. So we need an overhaul of the educational system. The existing one, improve it and allow most Filipinos to experience what it means to develop full human capacity. So, are you done with that? Uh, There's a question on, online, yeah. or are you asking yeah. someone? From someone. Okay. How about your plans for the OF? Because most of the presidential candidates say they will build a whole new yes. and then also how about those who are in business? Yes. Who are in that What are your plans for them? Okay. Uh, the, the long term, the long term plan for all W's. Uh, in the end, because in the end, the whole thing is about freedom of choice. What we can do best is to attract OFWs to stay in the country by having a vibrant economy. That that is the most important uh, medium long term basis, so that they don't have to go abroad. But ultimately, because they might want to seek other things, they can still go abroad, right? So, uh, therefore, number one, it will be important for OFWs to have, uh, uh, with the help of the government, a full explanation, a full exposure of the potential risks and hazards, not just in terms of uh, just potential income for them. For example, a lot of uh, people, are, uh, I mean, there's a number of people that are suffering from physical abuse, uh, from human rights abuse, and so on, uh, because the statute will follow the regulator. And of course, the government will see to it that most countries do not abuse Filipinos while they're abroad. Number two, a lot of the young people who are left behind with single parents or no parents are suffering from psychological problems as well as drug problems. We will have to address the social impact ramifications of massive Filipino overseas workers uh, in terms of the social fabric of the country, the collapse basically of 